hello guys uh, today 13th of march it's bank nifty expiry day so we will see where we can plan our trades so before getting into the pre-market analysis uh, let's discuss quickly about yesterday's move uh, it was on both the sides and many have messaged me many have asked me that uh, why the camera pivots have not respected you can see very clearly the elder impulse is giving you a very clear breakout so the elder impulse is against you at that level so there is no reverse trades at the same time you can see a solid breakout candle which is uh, with a very good volume uh, okay you can see very good volume in that breakout candle so there is no possibility of reverse trades uh, rather we need to look for a breakout trades as volume is there and elder impulse is also showing you the momentum and you're not getting the candlestick pattern which we are looking for at this level same way when it is reversed after the breakout there is no possibility of a call trade here because elder impulse is telling you the momentum as well as the price action is on the downside so no call trade here and you're not getting any candle that we are looking at we are not getting any wick or anything at this level so these two level there is no rejection trade here at the same time there is no support trade that you need to understand and now if you look at OI analysis for today, let's start with OI analysis. So the support is at around 47,200 level. Okay. So now you can see actually the both sides. Now the call as well as the put, you can see good number of short buildup calls even in the money short buildup. You can see calls in the money short buildup. That means we are not expecting a good up move. Actually, there can be a potential down move or sideways. So what we can expect is a potential down move or a sideways market. As you can see, good number of short buildup on the call side. ITM in the money are short buildup. If you look at in the money puts, it's just long unwinding. Those who are in profits, they have booked the profit. That, that's what you can see here as a long unwinding. And out of the money, there are some short buildup also. So what level can act as a very good support resistance? If you see, all these can be 47,500 where you can see 21 lakh OA is built up. Uh, so 21 lakh is there. So 47,500 could be the next rejection level. After 47,500, next level from OA, you can understand this 47,800. You need to see this with the chart and the price action as well so from here 47200 what you need to look for is next level is 47500 and after that 47800 and then 48000 is where you can see maximum oa build up so 48000 sellers are very confident and if you look at the put side 47000 could be the next level where it can take a support so the range can be between 47000 and 47500 and you will get a gamma blast if they break 47000 on the downside and 47500 on the upside so if 47000 on the downside if it is broken there can be a very good down move as the next resistance level will be at 46500 level so there can be a 500 point down move we can expect so this could be a very good support and uh, first resistance can be uh, at 47500 next resistance can be at 47800 so maximum is 48000 where the sellers are expecting they are safe now if you look at the straddle premium when 47200 is a support price call is trading at 283 put is trading at 166 so there's a combined premium of 450 so from 47200 450 point upside and 450 point downside the straddle players are safe because their break even is 450 points so from here 47200 450 points you can add 47200 450 points you can subtract that could be the range we can expect today so that could be something like 47 uh, 47 650 and 46 850 so 46,850 and 47,650 could be the range in which the trading can happen. After that, you can expect a very good blast. Okay. Now, if you look at the futures OA analysis, you can see very clearly it is a mixed feeling. Initially, it was short build up and then there was an up move. Okay. And then long unwinding profit booking and it's a it's a mixed feeling so we have nothing to discuss over here and if you look at the banks hdfc was very strong yesterday so due to the demerger maybe the reason so hdfc was doing very good icic also comparatively good uh, others are mixed and and sba was uh, performing very bad 
because of the supreme court order and the impact okay so that is what actually happened others kodak is also negative uh, indesin mix it so hdfc was doing really good despite the downgrading so that's what you can see from here and if you look at the difference between the call and the put oi we cannot make any conclusion here so the move can be both sides so i'm expecting a range bound day today and uh, move of you know 400 points upside or downside as what we can expect so the first thing that you can do is look at the at the money uh, look at the call put premium add together and see what is the combined premium that combined premium can be the range from the opening so sellers at this level they are comfortable with 450 points as they have already collected this 450 points the straddle players have collected the 450 so upside 450 if they break then they will be in trouble downside uh, 450 if it is breaking then they will be in trouble that's when they'll try to adjust the position mostly okay that's how uh, that's what you can understand so i'll repeat the levels could be if you see 47 200 is a spot next resistance 47500 after that 47800 first support at 47000 and then 46500 level so this is what you need to focus on when you are trading and this is only for educational purpose this is not for any investment or advice or anything as i am not sebi registered this is only for educational purpose so thank you so much guys see you